All right, the Chargers are being linked to a new corner, and man, this might make sense. If you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel talking nothing about, <laughs> talking <laughs> nothing but LA Chargers football. We love Jim Harbaugh. We're here in Michigan, so we followed him out to LA, and now we're doing this channel all about the Chargers. So here's the here's what it is. It's um, the LA Chargers have been kind of put in here by the Bleacher Report as a possible trade candidate for Jonathan Jones. He's 31 years old, final year of his deal, Patriots stink, and the Chargers just lost to Sante Samuel Jr. You're 3-2, and two. life's good. You hate to just, you hate to, I don't know, just kind of give up on this season. Not give up on the season, but it's like, I mean, you got so much positive momentum. The defense is looking good. There's, like, you're on just a good path. <clears throat> Again, this is from an outsider's perspective. Why, um, why not get an older guy so it's not going to be as expensive and get him in here and make something happen while you're kind of hot? Because we looked at it before. The Chargers, next five games, pff, man, it's the NFL. Nothing's easy, but these are pretty manageable teams that you're playing. You can win three, four, five of these next games. And so you just hate to lose that momentum. So let me know in the comments if you would make a trade for this guy. This just seems like a very manageable trade. You're not going to give up a lot. And you could you could get a guy that's a proven starter in the National Football League. I, I mean, come on. Through six games, he's got 25 tackles, a forced fumble. Last year, he appeared in 14 games, 48 tackles. So, so this is good, right, that he's not like – he's not a – a superstar he's not 24 years old he's 31 he just comes in just be a solid starter for you and then he's gone after this year so it's like all right what do we do for that do we give a fifth round pick do we give up two sixth rounds I mean I don't know and and do you want to mess with that let me know your thoughts in the comments on that one now some more good news um Again, I was talking about this. I want. I just want to show it really quick. The win against Denver was so big. It just gets you to three and two. And now look at these next five opponents: Arizona, New Orleans on a backup quarterback, Cleveland's terrible, Tennessee's terrible. I mean, these four for sure. And then Cincinnati, Baltimore, and then it gets tough, right? But but it doesn't matter if you've got this momentum and you're doing some really good things. So that's why that's why I think it's <clears throat> I don't know maybe worth it to to make it happen. Now, another thing is, um, let's pull this up. DJ Chark is um, returning from injured reserve. It's the thing with him, man. The dude is is talented. He's strong. Or he's, he's, he's talented. He's fast. He's a good receiver. So it's like, all right, what's up? Let's get him in there. What's the problem? He's, he's always injured. He's shockingly injured with, like, major stuff, too. Like, when he was with the Lions, it was like his ankle – Six weeks. It's like, well, hold on. What? How? He was in the game. How did he? What? What happened? I didn't. I didn't even see it. So, he's twenty eight already. Spent some time with um, Jacksonville. Then he goes to the Lions. Then he goes to the Panthers. And now he's here. So, point is, it'd be awesome to get DJ Chark going and really see what he can do. So, keep that in mind that he's going to come back here hopefully soon. Other news that's kind of interesting here is Tom Gores has bought 27% of the L.A. Chargers. Um, I don't know what to think about this. You've probably seen it. Here's why, it, here's why it's interesting is because um, he owns the Pistons. And if you've been following the Pistons, they've been terrible for a while now I mean really been terrible for a while now so it's not a win for the Chargers or the Chargers fan base or anything like that it's not like oh yeah sweet it's it, I don't know if it matters I don't know what it means so thank you thank you so I'm so glad I provide all this information Tom Gores owns the Pistons they've been terrible for the second he bought them till present day they've actually gotten worse they were terrible then they've gotten worse so now he buys this, he gets into this. I don't know what he's doing, and I just don't know. So 
follow him for more, right? <laughs> follow for more information. I have no idea what he's doing. And if it matters, I just let me know in the comments. I mean, the Spanos, 